For our sake, our Lord Jesus Christ became like the grain of wheat that falls to the earth and dies, so that it may bear much fruit. He invited us to follow him along this path when he told us that the ones who loves his life loses it, and the one who hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. Yet we are attached to our life. We do not want to abandon it. We want to keep it all for ourselves. We want to hold on to it, not to give it away. But he goes before us, showing us that it is only by giving away our life that we can save it. As we walk with him on the way of the cross, he leads us along the way of the grain of wheat, the way of a fruitfulness which leads to eternity. As we stop to pray at each station, take time to enter the story with your heart and imagination. What do you see? What do you hear? With whom do you identify? What do you feel? What part of yourself or your life can you give to Jesus to unite with his offering to the Father? In love you sent your Son that we might be cleansed of sin and live with you forever. Bless us as we gather to meditate on his suffering and death, that we may learn from his example the way we should go. We ask this through the same Christ our Lord. Amen. station. Jesus is sentenced to death. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Pilate said to them, And what should I do with Jesus, who is called the Messiah? All of them said, Let him be crucified. Then he asked, Why? What evil has he done? But they shouted all the more, Let him be crucified. So he released Barabbas for them, and after flogging Jesus, he handed him over to be crucified.
Let us pray. Father, in the flesh of your Son you condemn sin. Grant us the gift of eternal life in the same Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The second station, Jesus takes his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by, by your holy cross you have, have redeemed the world. Then the soldiers of the governor took Jesus inside the praetorium and gathered the whole cohort around him. They stripped off his clothes and threw a scarlet military cloak about him. Weaving a crown out of thorns, they placed it on his head, and a reed in his right hand. And kneeling before him, they mocked him, saying, Hail, King of the Jews! They spat upon him, and took the reed, and kept striking him on the head. And when they had mocked him, they stripped him of the cloak, dressed him in his own clothes, and led him off to crucify him. Let us pray. Father, your Son Jesus humbled himself and became obedient to death. Teach us the glory above all else in the cross, in which is our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. station. Jesus falls the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Yet it was our pain that he bore, our sufferings he endured. We thought of him as stricken, struck down by God, and afflicted. But he was pierced for our sins, crushed for our iniquities. He bore the punishment that makes us whole. By his wounds we were healed. We had all gone astray like sheep, all following our own way. But the Lord laid upon him the guilt of us all. Let us pray. Father, help us to remain reproachful in your sight, so that we can offer you our body as a holy and living offering. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The 
fourth station, Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary his mother, Behold, this child is destined for the fall and rise of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be contradicted, and you yourself a sword will pierce, so that the thoughts of many hearts may be revealed. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. Let us pray. Father, accept the sorrows of the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of your Son. May they obtain from your mercy every good for our salvation. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. station, Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. They pressed into service a passerby, Simon, a Cyrenian, who was coming in from the country, the father of Alexander and Rufus, to carry his cross. Let us pray. Father, you have first loved us, and you sent your Son to expiate our sins. Grant that we may love one another and bear each other's burdens. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. the face of Jesus. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. He had no majestic bearing to catch our eye, no beauty to draw us to him. He was spurned and avoided by men, a man of suffering, knowing pain, like one from whom you turn your face, spurned, and we held him in no esteem.
Let us pray. Heavenly Father, grant that we may reflect your Son's glory and be transformed into his image, so that we may be configured to him. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. seventh station, Jesus falls the second time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am one who has known affliction under the rod of God's anger, one whom he has driven and forced to walk in darkness, not in light. He has hemmed in my ways with fitted stones and made my paths crooked. He has made me eat gravel, trampled me into the dust. Let us pray. God, our Father, grant that we may walk in the footsteps of Jesus, who suffered for us and redeemed us, not with gold and silver, but with the price of his own blood. We ask this through Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Jesus speaks to the holy women. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Jesus turned to them and said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me. Weep instead for yourselves and for your children. For indeed the days are coming when people will say, Blessed are the barren, the wombs that never bore, and the breasts that never nursed. At that time people will say to the mountains, Fall upon us, and to the hills, cover us. For if these things are done when the wood is green, what will happen when it is dry? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you desire to show mercy rather than anger towards those who hope in you. Grant that we may weep for our sins and merit the grace of your glory. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.
ninth station, Jesus falls the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. It is good for a person, when young, to bear the yoke, to sit alone and in silence. When its weight lies heavy, to put one's mouth in the dust. There may yet be hope, to offer one's cheek to be struck, to be filled with disgrace. For the Lord does not reject forever, though he brings grief. He takes pity according to the abundance of his mercy. Let us pray. God, our Father, look with pity on us, oppressed by the weight of our sins, and grant us your forgiveness. Help us to serve you with our whole heart. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. tenth station, Jesus is stripped of his garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And when they came to a place called Golgotha, which means place of the skull, they gave Jesus wine to drink, mixed with gall. But when he had tasted it, he refused to drink. After they had crucified him, they divided his garments by casting lots. Then they sat down and kept watch over him there. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, let nothing deprive us of your love, neither trials nor distress nor persecution. May we become the wheat of Christ and be one pure bread. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. And they placed over his head the written charge against him. This is Jesus, the King of the Jews. Two revolutionaries were crucified with him one on his right, 
and the other on his left. Those passing by reviled him, shaking their heads and saying, You who would destroy the temple and rebuild it in three days, save yourself if you are the Son of God, and come down from the cross. Likewise, the chief priests with the scribes and elders mocked him and said, He saved others, he cannot save himself. So he is the king of Israel. Let him come down from the cross now, and we will believe in him. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, your Son reconciled us to you and to one another. Help us to embrace this gift of grace and remain united with you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. station. Jesus dies on the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Now from the sixth hour there was darkness over all the land until the ninth hour. And about the ninth hour Jesus cried with a loud voice, Eli, Eli, lama sabachthani. That is, my God, my God, why have you forsaken me? And some of the bystanders hearing it said, This man is calling Elijah. And one of them at once ran and took a sponge, filled it with vinegar, and put it on a reed, and gave it to him to drink. But the others said, Wait, let us see whether Elijah will come to save him. And Jesus cried again with a loud voice and yielded up his spirit. Let us pray. God our Father, by his death your Son has conquered death, and by his resurrection he has given us life. Help us to adore his death and embrace his life. We ask this through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. station. Jesus is taken from the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The centurion 
and the men with him, who were keeping watch over Jesus, feared greatly when they saw the earthquake and all that was happening. And they said, Truly, this was the Son of God. There were many women there, looking on from a, from a distance, who had followed Jesus from Galilee, ministering to him. Let us pray. God, our Father, grant that we may be incorporated into Christ's death, so that we may advance toward the resurrection with great hope. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. station. Jesus is laid in the sepulchre. We adore you, O Christ, and we praise you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Taking the body, Joseph wrapped it in the clean linen and laid it in his new tomb that he had hewn in the rock. Then he rolled a huge stone across the entrance to the tomb and departed. But Mary Magdalene and the other Mary remained sitting there, facing the tomb. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you raised Jesus from the dead through the Holy Spirit. Grant life to our mortal bodies through the same Spirit who abides in us. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. your Son to the death of the cross to save us from evil. Grant us the grace of the resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you and the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. 